Hi guys, my name is Rob Teller. I'm one of the product managers at NZXT. Uh, my responsibilities include the interior specking of the chassis and just making sure that it's very user friendly and very feature rich. Uh, today, we have three iterations of the H440 from first mock-up, second mock-up, and then final MP. And so we're gonna just sort of walk through some of the evolutionary changes that we went through when making the H440. They're, they were pretty big. Uh, so here, we have the first mock-up, and so you can see it's drastically different than the end product. Uh, there's no PSU shroud, there's no SSDs on a PSU shroud, uh, the hard drive area is a bit different, and probably one of the biggest things of all is it still has optical drives. So we didn't initially know that we were going to scrap the optical drives. It sort of just happened when we determined it was better off without them. Uh, so going through, you can see our cutout is very similar to the 530, 630 stuff. Uh, we had a flat motherboard tray so that it would kind of take EATX motherboards, but that eventually got changed for reasons I'll go into later. Uh, there was a cool innovation that I sort of came up with with a uh, 90 degree bent motherboard tray here on the bottom that allowed us to put a cutout below the motherboard tray so that you could do your audio cables and the other USB cables that you would normally have to run through the side on normal mid towers. I believe we were one of the first people to do that. And then by adding that 90 millimeter bend, you got a little bit more cable management space. Some of the other big changes were just the way the hard drives work. They look very similar to what we did on the final product, but they're very much not user friendly. We had to go through a lot of trial and error to figure out to add hooks here so that if the user didn't insert it correctly, it would catch and not fall to its doom. Uh, but overall, it, it, it did get changed significantly. So that's our first mock-up. So moving on to our second mock-up, it looks a lot more like the H40 you know, simply because it has exterior. Uh, this one, however, only has two USB 3. Eventually, we upped the spec for more. On the inside, there's still no shroud. Uh, the SSDs are still on the side here, but what we did change is the slight bend in the motherboard tray. And so as I had mentioned before, we had a flat motherboard tray previously to allow an ETX motherboard, but we found that cable management was still really tight. So we decided to do the little bit of a bend on the motherboard tray to give you better cable management and really design it around an ATX motherboard as most mid-tower users prefer. Uh, this one also introduces the MATX holes. This was simply because you know MATX is still really popular and a lot of people tended to put MATX boards into ATX cases. So it was really simple to just add that without an issue. Uh, you can see just improved cable management hole cutouts. Everything is a little bit more polished, a little bit better uh, laid out. You have cable management zip ties all over the place. That's my favorite thing to add and drive mechanical design insane. Uh, but some of the things that we ultimately did have to change are things like cable management or cooling. So when we still had the optical drives, our cooling did not go all the way up. So this restricted a lot of airflow. And then the same thing on the top, the overall bezel was still very short. So one of the things you'll see as I go further is how we improve the cooling onto our uh, mass production unit. So this was mock-up two. So moving into the last product, you can see uh, everything is going to be changed. We basically looked at mock-up two and determined it just wasn't good enough. Uh, we went ahead and we added the PSU shroud. We changed basically the entire layout for how hard drives went and SSDs went. Uh, cable management got changed a little bit, but you still have the cable management holes we introduced earlier. Uh, we added that new GPU uh, cable management hole on the shroud, which being the first to introduce a shroud such as this, we were the first to do that. Uh, going behind it, because we removed the optical drives, you can now see that there's a lot more room for intake and we're able to spread the hard drives out even further. This also led to one of the biggest water cooling support items is now you can fit a 360 radiator in the front and a 360 on the top. So it took a lot of trial and error to just get to where we were with the H440. And it kind of just took some logical thinking of well, why do we still need this? We don't really use that. So that's what it took to get to the H440.